All right, my fellow ponies, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro today. And uh, the leaks, well, not necessarily leaks. It seems that people have already gotten their patty cakes on them uh, due to, like, people breaking embargo and just letting them take the, the consoles. Uh, they've been posting some videos of, like, Bloodborne. I've I, I seen a whole bunch of this stuff come through. I'm just summarizing. I haven't watched a whole bunch of it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm old enough and you know, to buy my own PlayStation 5 Pro, so I'll be able to get you guys some real facts as soon as that thing, uh, as soon as I go pick it up on Thursday. Um, actually, just a quick thing, um, Fan Xiong has sent me the S80, the S880 4 terabyte um, NVMe, um, <laughs> NVMe M.2 uh, PCIe 4.0 drive for the PlayStation 5 Pro. We're going to be putting this bad boy in there when it comes, so you'll see a full unboxing video and everything um, as soon as we get as soon as we get that. So yeah, guys, four terabytes. This thing is under three hundred dollars. Um, between that and the two terabytes that come on the PS5 Pro, I'm going to have six terabytes in that in that bad boy. Probably enough to fit a significant amount of my um, library that I have on PlayStation right on that. Um, they did send out an earlier version, a two terabyte one. This is their top of the line S880. So if you guys are interested in this, there will be a link in the description for these on Amazon so that you guys can pick one up if that's something that you want. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this until the PS5 Pro comes out. I will stick this in there. I'll do the full video upload, um, the read speeds, all of that stuff. The, the two terabyte that they sent me, guys, is working just fine. I've literally put everything on the PlayStation 5 onto that, and that is what I've been using uh, ever since they sent that, that out to me last month incredible value for basically what you're getting everywhere else for ssds and to be completely honest with you guys um yeah save as much money on as you can on on your on your ssds that 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 to me like if if you're if you're buying your games and just downloading them and you're not doing a whole bunch of you know erasing and downloading erasing and downloading um then i i think that i think that these are going to be pretty pretty fine so it does come with a five-year warranty right there so it looks like they stand behind their products i've actually read some reviews over on on amazon and stuff too from other people and it doesn't seem like a whole lot of people are having a lot of problems with these so it's safe to say that's why I was like, yeah, go ahead, send me what you got. I'll definitely try it out on the show, and uh, we'll, we'll check it out. So let's get back to this PlayStation 5 Pro stuff. Now, you guys remember that I was a little bit more conservative. You had other content creators that were out there. It's 33 teraflops, and it's a 40, blah, blah, blah. No, guys, this thing is equivalent to about a 6,800. And when you look at the, um, the overall... The overall thing where it states, it's like, look, man, this thing is RDNA. It doesn't say anything about RDNA 2, 3, or 4. None of that. It is basically whatever the PlayStation 5 is already built on, it's just scaled up. They do have actual um, um, hardware in there for the, the machine learning, so that's good. It is it is completely separate from from whatever's in there, I, I am kind of feeling like it's it's probably pretty much in line with what RDNA three has for for their for their for their hardware machine learning. Maybe even maybe even because um, it's just the way that it's just the way that they've presented this this technology so far. It it's almost like we're not getting any boost to overall visual quality. We are just getting the upscaling. So in my mind, what that's telling me from from the experience that I've had with PC and everything else, that that it that it really is just running on the shader units that that are that are inherent in the RDNA um, products. So you you could probably expect you know something in line with that, and and then the uh, the the RDNA four ray tracing performance. Okay, so if, if that is the case, if we're getting the RDNA 4 ray tracing performance and Sony's claiming that this can be up to 2 to 3x better or whatever, 2.3 times better than, than what it is on the original PlayStation already, um, you could expect the ray tracing performance to be a little bit better, but you still have to understand that this thing is still within the, the confines of a console. So if you're out there thinking that like you're getting this 33 teraflop PlayStation and that it's just going to drastically change everything, I'm I'm a lot more conservative in my in my thought process with it and even I still found value in buying a PlayStation 5 Pro. Um, my main focus is for the PSVR 2 
um, experience. Like, is it going to give me a significantly better experience while playing Gran Turismo 7? I've, I've been I've been playing a lot of GT7. I, I really am enjoying how it is on the on the headset. I, I really love PSVR 2 for that game. Like that is by far my favorite racing game on PlayStation VR 2 or on VR in, in general. Now I can utilize the headset on my PC and I have. And, and it looks incredible. And that's why I am... That was the thing, the driving thing that was like, yeah, Frog, go ahead, get the PlayStation 5 Pro so that you can enhance the experience for GT7 in PSVR 2 on... Uh, like on the hardware that that was the, the the driving factor because like before i was sitting here i was like man i don't know if this is even worth buying if it's if it's worth picking up but i found a reason that that that, that gave me the uh the, the go ahead to pick that up now best buy ran my card last night so it's already paid for um i got the email at like 1 30 in the morning while i was doing my uh dragon's age <laughs> my dragon age um velgard review i was like yes it's done it's done and now it's like waiting to ship till third or waiting for me to go pick it up on thursday i'm 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 pretty excited about picking up the playstation 5 pro um i think it's going to be good for the channel because you guys know i'm a no-nonsense freaking kind of dude when it comes to this hardware stuff uh you know i'm going to give you an accurate representation uh, obviously guys, I've, I've had a little bit of a difficulty with PlayStation this generation in, in the whole honeymoon phase and stuff like that. And I don't see PlayStation 5 Pro changing that very much just due to the fact that like we're still within the confines of a console. But the one thing is, is this thing is actually rated for 390 watts. So therefore, you know, I mean, obviously power draw is still going to be right around a couple hundred watts for like games and stuff. But the fact that the, that the overall budget is almost 400 watts for, for the PlayStation 5 Pro, um, that means that there might be more power on tap for developers to actually use. And I do kind of feel like this is going to, um, automatically, you know, benefit Xbox Series X users as well. Uh, but more so the PlayStation guys. If you are the kind of PlayStation guy that, that wants to have, uh, have that cake and eat it too, you should probably get a PC. You, you should probably get a PC, to be completely honest with you. I know, PCs are expensive, whatever. It, it, it definitely costs a lot more money to get into. But I guarantee it, within within like a couple of weeks, like you'll, you'll be good. Like You'll be like, wow, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner, for the most part. But I've already made a video telling you, you know, the three reasons if, that you should move over to PC if you're a console gamer. And, and I think those are pretty sound reasons. But on the other foot, is PlayStation 5 Pro worth the money now that we know that it is basically just an upgraded version? The CEO of Sony is already coming out telling people to temper their expectations. Is it really worth $700? And... There's, there's something, there's another thing that actually kind of adds to the longevity of that is PlayStation is saying that this is going to be a 10 year cycle for the PlayStation 5 um, generation. That there, my friends, I mean, basically they're still making PlayStation 4 games right now. So I don't see, even if they do come out with a PlayStation 6 here in a couple of years, I, I don't, I, I do see the PlayStation 5 Pro as that is that like bridge the gap console for 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 next gen gaming and stuff because the way the the way the games are being made now guys it, it really is it takes so long for them to build these games and make them that when they start putting them out they kind of overlap the next generation you know the games that are actually you know the hardcore playstation 4 games because we saw what they look like when they came out we saw what they look like at the end of the generation we see what the games look like right now and we're we're all sitting here like bruh the games don't look any better than what they did last generation. That's because those games are literally still last generation games with PlayStation 5 paint on them. Now you're going to now this is where you're going to start to see games that are going to start coming out now that are going to actually be PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, next gen games. Now, it, at this point in the generation is where that stuff is going to start going forward. So when you look at that, 
and you take that into consideration, the $700 for a PlayStation 5 Pro starts to seem a little bit more reasonable when you factor in that you've still got six more years to enjoy this new console. Now, if it was, if it was, you know, PlayStation 5 Pro was coming out and then PS6 was coming out in two more years, then I'd be like, absolutely no, don't, don't buy this thing. But seeing as there's still six more years that you'll be able to utilize the PlayStation 5 Pro, and by that time they'll have they'll have enhanced PSSR even more. They'll they'll have figured out new ways to to get more out of the machine. You'll see the new rendering techniques. You'll see the ray tracing actually take effect. Um, you'll see the, the the beauty of what the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be able to bring you, at least from first party games. Hopefully, um, third party games actually get to to utilize this, um, this, this upscaling and all of this other stuff too, so that we don't have the same divide that we did on the PlayStation 4 generation that pushed people like me over to PC and over to Xbox because we wanted more power. The PlayStation 5 Pro is that answer to keep you in that ecosystem. And I, and I do see this as Sony's, um, I do see this as PlayStation's way of being like, come on guys, don't switch to PC. I know we're putting our games over there, but we want to give you a console that's actually going to make it so that you don't have to. And we're going to price it aggressively to where buying this over a, over a PC upfront cost is is going to be is going to is, is going to play mind tricks with you. Like, <laughs> trust me, going PC is the best option for real. It really is. You'll, you'll get on PC like I was just sitting here playing uh, Monster Hunter Wilds is 150 frames a second where, and it looked clean, crispy clean. And I played it on the PlayStation 5 Pro and I was like, hey, man, this thing is so blurry. And then seeing that that contrast going from the PS5 right over to the freaking right over to ps5 or uh, right over to pc i'm like yeah dude it's it's not even a contest it's not even it's it's not even a, a thing like seriously going out there and buying yourself a 4070 or 7800 xt pc yeah you're you're gonna be set you're gonna be super happy and then keep your playstation keep your xbox and then and then compare it compare it as as you as you're going throughout the rest of the generation every time a new game comes out grab that game Pop it in there, play it on your PlayStation, play it on your PC, and then see for yourself that you made a better decision, even going with like a mid-range GPU, you made a better decision. Even the 4060 would still hold up very well to the PlayStation 5 Pro. Looking at the looking at the teraflop, like if I pull this up right now, so we got 16.7 teraflops in the PS5 Pro. Uh, how many teraflops is a 4060 Ti 16 gig? Tom's hardware that gives NVIDIA's RTX 17, 17 teraflops. Seven ter exactly 17 teraflops for the base or, or for the for the 60 series of the of, of the 4060 Ti Super. That's with the 16 gigs. So that way you don't have any issues worrying about like your your um um your your VRAM or anything. And that thing will easily with DLSS do 4K. Like it will do 4K on a lot of games. You set the settings where you need them to be, you flip on DLSS, even on DLSS performance, it still looks pretty decent on a 4K TV, still significantly better than what you're gonna see on a console. So even with that, even with that, just getting in with that, or or even I mean if you can if you can do the FSR like the 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 uh, the the <laughs> the um when when fsr does it's like little flickering and stuff like that if you can do that it still looks pretty dang good on on a on a 4k screen even if you're utilizing the um the uh, amd 7600 xt with with the 16 gigs of vram both of those gpus are still going to get you across the finish line and significantly down the road when it comes to what the consoles can actually produce um and and you'll, you'll obviously have access to a significantly better cpu over on the on the PC side that's actually going to help you um, have a much better experience now and it opens up the door to you don't have to pay for online gaming no more you can get your you can buy your games a lot cheaper on Steam you can get free games on Epic Game Store obviously you'll have access to to, to Game Pass too if you still need that um, and and PlayStation first party games like you're going to get Spider-Man 2 here in January so the best time to upgrade to PC would be now, but also, I don't know guys, like I've got a top of the line AMD PC and I still bought a PlayStation 5 Pro. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you not to buy one, but I'm gonna tell you that like, I'm, I'm gonna buy, I, I bought this thing for a specific reason. I bought it for GT7, but I'm going to go out of my way to like review and check out other games for you so that you guys know. And 
I mean, and, and I'll be, I'll be fair. Like I will treat it as like a $700. I mean, I'll, I'll treat it like a $700 box. I, I will like $700 for the PS5 pro compared to my $700 ROG ally. Like that, that's, yeah, that's a no brainer. Like the PlayStation 5 pro is significantly better, but the ROG, the ROG ally actually opens up like a PC platform. So you've got a lot more control over your experience, uh, that, that actually will help you in the long run if, if that's something that you are interested in. Now, I, I think that these leaks and stuff for the PS5 Pro are, are pretty interesting. Obviously, it's, it's not going to be the powerhouse that, that um, a lot of my Captain Save a Pro, um, <laughs> a lot of my Captain Save a Pro colleagues are, are claiming it to be. It's, it's definitely more in line with with what you would get from RDNA 1 or RDNA 2, or probably RDNA 2. I, I feel like it's RDNA 1.2 or, or something like that. It's it's in between 1 and 2, and it's and it's always been like, it's always been like a PlayStation thing. They've always got to like play around with things and do their own little magic sauce and stuff like that. And it comes out pretty good. Checkerbirds worked just fine on PlayStation games. It just did not look very good on third-party games. So when you get your PlayStation 5 Pro or when you start seeing the videos that I start putting out from th Thursday forward, you know, a lot of a lot of GT7 and PSVR 2. Um, and then obviously we'll do the, uh, the Horizon Forbidden West, Horizon Zero Dawn, all of the games that I've already got everything that's getting an update like uh, final fantasy everything i'll do videos for every single one of those uh, like i said in the beginning i've got this four terabyte ssd that we're going to have in there so i'll be able to download every single thing that i want to show you guys and we'll make some videos man we'll have some fun with this and we'll find out if it's worth your money your time and your investment into deeper into the playstation ecosystem and uh yeah guys so all right thanks for watching have a good night and uh let me know in the comment section if you like these videos and uh, what you would like to see more. And we'll, <laughs> we'll see you guys later.